Taylor Hall, goodbye, sayonara, going from the the Devils over to, um, going over to Arizona Coyotes. Um, uh, listen, uh, in exchange for first round pick in the 2020 NHL draft, third round selection conditional in 2021, Kevin Ball and uh, Nick Merkley and Nate and Nate Sharnar. So this was a trade from you know December uh, the 16th. Now, I fundamentally cannot understand how so many double fans don't understand that you need <coughs> exceptional talent to win in this league. The best teams in the league all have a superstar, if not multiple. You just traded. You only shot at one, and and you're celebrating. You're celebrating. Go look at the league standings, with the exception of perhaps the Islanders, and to be fair, uh, Barzil is nuts. Every top team has a household name. First round of fantasy... You know, team-defining player. Ovechkin, Merchand, uh, McKinnon, Lane, Crosby, Malkin. Guys like this. Hall was that for the Devils, and you let him walk. When you acquired him for Larson, that was the trade of the decade. And why do you think he didn't want to be here? People are saying he didn't want to be here. He seemed pretty content and happy when he made the playoffs. And he was the MVP. But as soon as things went remotely sour. And this quote-unquote fan base started booing him on the ice. I'd want out too. The respect he was given was as fickle as Heinz's lines every night. Sometimes big names don't help, you might be saying. Hall was holding off on his extension from the start of the season. Listen, uh, and you're getting injection of young talent. Listen, injection of young talent. All these guys are unknowns and or no-namers. You gambled a short thing, MVP caliber player, into five guys who may or not ever see the fourth line and guys stepping up people are saying oh you guys these guys people are going to be stepping up how are uh guys like hughes and her sizer uh, going to uh step up when their best possible mentor just left i can't imagine there's a whole lot of motivation to be found in that locker room with a clueless interim head coach and now a giant gaping hole on your top line and power play uh, that won't be filled for years. Listen, go tell the young kids to uh, keep their chin up for the entire rest of the season while they're getting hammered every night. You do that. I'll clarify a little uh, since uh, this might you know, come off the wrong way. I can see that something had to be done. And that's the way hockey goes sometimes. There were very few of any ways for the Devils to, quote-unquote, win this situation. So this was all ways to mitigate the damage of losing him for nothing at the end of the season. That being said, the team is not better. Not now, not tomorrow. And not very likely next year. The people celebrate him, uh, celebrating him being dealt or clueless. There are ways you can draw the solution up as positive. You got no one NHL ready. And no one to help develop your ready young core. I hope all is well.